story. Well, the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission um, uh, was returning uh, land that was grabbed back to the police. Currently speaking is the Inspector General of Police, Joseph Boynet. This is happening in Nyeri. Let's go over there live and listen in. <laughs> It has not taken too long because, you know, government has lots of many other concerns. And as a matter of fact, uh, there's been a lot of focus on matters to do with policing in this country in the last couple of years. And you are witnesses to what has been happening. And that's why I say there is, there is renewed vigor and focus on matters of, 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 uh, of, of, of um, facilitating the police to do their job in a much more efficient manner to serve the public, in a more, much more responsive way as well, by addressing matters of housing, matters that include housing. And I said we are also looking at many other innovative ways of expediting the resolution of that problem. And I said um, much, maybe the final details will be coming out in due course. I may not be able to say what those things entail today. I, that, that, that I don't, I really don't know. That I don't know, I don't know. Hmm. Uh, on the issue that you say that you're going to actually bring in ESCC to force our police, police service rather uh, to do some investigation. Of course, we've seen the police has been ranked as one of the worst, the most corrupt in the country. What exactly, uh, or what is the scope uh, of, of the ISC that you maybe, you know? I need, I need to, I need to, we need to make that one very, very clear because you heard what the, the chairman, the archbishop said, one of the things that they do as their core duties is to do systems audit in public institutions. I said we invited them in 2016, towards the end of the year, to do systems audit of our own uh, procedures and the way we do business, because we realized there are some weaknesses here and there. But we couldn't do it last year because of obvious reasons. We want to do it this year. And it's not an investigation at all. It is not an investigation. It is just an examination of, of how do you do your business with a view to um, establishing whether there are any areas that are vulnerable or susceptible to corrupt, corrupt practices. And if they are, then remedial suggestions are made for us to, 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 to move in quickly and seal. That's the purpose of uh, that system sorted. It's not an investigation at all. We are not investigating anybody or any institution within the police, but just an examination of the way we run, we do our, our business. I will repeat, with a view to finding out whether there are areas that are susceptible or prone to corrupt activity and suggesting the remedial, remedial actions. That's it. Okay, there are claims so if there's anybody who is worried that they are coming to investigate me, no need to worry at all. <laughs> because it, it could be a systemic thing, not, not, not anything to do with an individual or an institution or a department or a unit or a formation. Okay, so there are, there are, let me okay. go back to Nairobi. So there are claims that uh, there is political interference with the police work, especially in this area. Which one? Which one? There are many cases that you can... You tell me. You tell me now. Then we deal with it. The, your officers are complaining. Which, which, which officers are complaining? They're not here, but uh, you call for them. So 20 kind of Musa. <laughs> 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 Inspector General Joseph Boynet there speaking after um, the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission handed over a piece of land to the police that had been grabbed saying this is something that they will continue doing and they're not targeting individuals but it's pretty much a cleanup exercise. Our reporter Raquel Mugai is in Nyeri. She will be giving us more details of what really is happening as far as that is concerned. Now,